going to work on finding the schwa. So the schwa, again, is that, it's kind of a sloppy sound where we go, uh, uh. So that's another thing that we have to teach our students to try when we're working on decoding a word, trying to sound it out. Because if their normal sounds don't work that they know for that vowel, they may have to try a schwa. And this will happen when you get in the two, three, four, five, and on syllable words, okay? So, Audrey, let's take a look at this word. What is that word? Captain. Okay, and in captain, we hear captain or captain, captain, right? Captain. Now, I kind of wanted to say captain, but I know this is cap, but captain doesn't sound like captain. So, which one of these is? Do we have to throw in a schwa sound? Captain. Which which one of these? Ten. Right in here, right? We're not going to say a. We know a i can say a, but we're going to sub in that schwa sound. Uh. So cap. Ton. Is actually the way we say it. Captain. Okay? So you just have to think. If captain doesn't work, then try a schwa. It just may help you. So let's look at some other words. And I'm going to have Audrey work on these while I record her. You ready? So your next word is absent. Uh -huh. so, absent. Absent. Hmm. So go ahead and let's chunk those. Ab sent. Okay. It looks like three, but it's actually just two. It's just two absent. Now you said sent because you know that's a word, but when I say that, I say absent. Can you say it again? Let's see how you say it. Absent. Yeah. We kind of put that a uh sound in there, don't we? So where would it, where would we have, want to try a schwa sound? Can you underline the part where we want, we want to make a schwa? Yeah. And what does the schwa sound say? Uh. Ah, uh, it says uh. Good. All right, you can erase that one. And I'm going to give you this word. Salary. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, what's the first chunk? So. Uh huh. So. But there's sort of a twist yeah. to that word. What's the twist? Because it sounds like it's celery. Mm hmm. It is celery. Mm hmm. But it's if you put the E with the C E L, it makes more sense. Okay, yeah. So. That part. So, would you show me how many chunks? Oh, are you? Sal. Re. Celery. The first one seems right. I was just comparing mm -hmm. both of them. And that's a good thing to do, Audrey. That's really smart. Can you try another way? Would you say the word celery and do the chin method? Cell er re. Three. Yeah. Three times my word my chin went down. Okay, so let's try it there. So uh, re. That makes more sense. Okay. I noticed you said sell uh you said sell a uh, re, but you wrote it in a different way. No, that's not I said sell er re. 
but there's no oh there's no why there's no r there huh so so uh, why that doesn't make sense but what can what does why say at the end of a word uh so so how did you read it when you read that word what does it say what is that what does that mm, why say nothing well read it tell so, me the word Sorry, the E sound. Says the E sound. Yeah, e. exactly. So, the way you have it is great, but I want you to read it the way you wrote it. So, uh, we, ha. Huh. So, sell, uh, er, re. But that doesn't say re. Look at this part right here. <laughs> so, the first one, the... Now this is correct. That's correct, but I want you to read it the way you wrote it. So, er, uh, You wrote sell, er, e. Sell, er, e. Now it sounds to me like you would like to write it a different way. This could help you figure it out, sell, er, e. Celery, celery. So, this way could be right, but you just have to, hmm. Yeah, well, if you want to put re together, what would you change there? What would you do differently? Oh, huh, that still doesn't make sense. Yeah, because uh, how many chunks are there? So, uh, Can I show you? Let me show you. The way you were saying it, I'm going to have you hold that. The way you were saying it was this way. Sell, uh, re. That's another way. Either way, you'd figure out this word, seller e, seller e. But when you read it back in the chunks, you can only say e there because you pulled your r over there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's do one more. All right. Now I meant to ask you something. Is there a schwa sound in there? Yes, there is. And it's right, it's right. Mm. And that may, if, if we, we were both reading it, er, right? Mm -hmm. So when we decide that we needed that re, that would make more sense, right? Sell a re, okay, all right. Just a little point to make there. And the last word is... Helicopter. And remember, we're trying to find the schwa. That little sloppy sound. This has a... I'm... Well, let's do... How many chunks are in helicopter? Helicopter. Four syllables. Four syllables. You can say it. It's not a bad word. It's one L. I uh, know. So hell. Hell. Wait a sec. Hell. Cop. Good job checking. Cop. Her. Nice. Now, read that for me. Helicopter. There's only one problem, though. Yeah? What's the problem? So, this is one way to say it, but another way to say it is this. 
he the cop true. This would be the very to say. Yeah, either way makes total sense. Good job. I like the way the you're thinking. The copter. Uh huh. And did you hear a schwa sound in that uh, word? Helicopter. So, so mm. look at your word as you're saying it. Helicopter. I did not hear a schwa sound. I did. Look at your second chunk. La. La. Yeah, we didn't really say li or lie, did we? We said a uh, la helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Yeah, so it did have a schwa, right? Yeah. So that's an example of some of the things you can do with your students. Hope they're as lovely as Audrey.